Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to make a bit.ly link and explain a little bit why you might want to do that a bit about what it is and all of that. I don't know if you've heard of bit.ly, but it's a link shortener. Um, there are lots of different ones and bit.ly is just the one that I like to use. So what it does is you get a big long URL. So it might be your website, a really long one, like a blog post that goes on and on or any other, like you, my, I know my um, acuity scheduling is really a long link. So I like to make short links. So it might go bit.ly, oh, so bit.ly backslash. And then I just go, free Berta, which takes you to my e-learning platform or um, 15 minutes Berta or is my 15 minute free call um, booking link. So this is, let's do the screen share. This is my bit.ly. So you log in, um, create yourself an account. And then when you are ready, you um, click create bit link. So let's find a big long one. I guess some of my YouTube videos are probably really long. URLs or just kind of random URLs if you're like, oh, I really want to post this video all around the place and I don't want to have to copy and paste it over. I just want a URL I can remember. So I'm going to just call this one Berta SEO and this is like my video that I'm going to splat around the place, right? So you click create bit link and then you paste in your URL and then you just click create and here it is. So what they've done is I mean, you could just copy this one, right? It's, but you can customize it. So I might go but uh, SEO and if I click save, it will either let me or it won't. So this one is all good to go, right? It happened. But sometimes if you choose uh, like, you know, if you've got free ebook, that's not available, right? Someone's used that before. Um, yeah. They might just say, this is not available. And then you just keep trying different things until you get one that you like. Now, the other reason I love Bitly is, um, that it shows you analytics on where, you know, what clicks you've got. So let's look at like the last 30 days. I mean, I might not have much because I haven't really been using my Bitly links a lot. No. How else can I change it? Oh no, I don't want to filter it, silly button. Change the calendar. What is the date? 10th? Oh, just today. Well, that's not very clever. Last 30 days, apply. Okay, great. So this is my stats for the last 30 days. You can hide that chart. Um, and sometimes it's great. You like can see, look at that. There's loads. There's actually been 57 clicks. And this is going to show all the top performing links. So, and I can see, oh, right. That day that I got so many was that day I posted in that group or that was the day I spent money on that Facebook ad. So you can see some correlation between your activity and whether you're getting clicks or not, which is super helpful. Any analytics are really helpful just for like making sense of what you're doing. So I hope that was helpful. Have a great day. And um, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, it's helpful to subscribe because you get a little notification when I release a new video and liking. It's nice too.